Hello everyone, welcome to another video, I know it's been a while, but it's just been busy and hectic, you know how the world is right now. Taking a small break from Carrion, because my recording software doesn't want to work with it. So I'm going to be showing you a game called Sword with Sauce, which is basically a uh, like parkour and ninja assassin game, whichever you like. Basically, like that's what all the enemies look like. And the main part is that you can set up loadouts with different sorts of weapons here and little gadgets alongside the main weapon. So let's make a new one. As you can already see, I have lots of them. So these are all the weapon options. I think I'll go with the sniper for this one. And then here's all the gadgets you can choose. As you can tell, you can have eight in total. And there's some that are able to stack, or some that can't stack, and some are, like, I mean, that you equip, like, the gas mask here. Like, you equip that instead of, like, having another weapon, which is good if you want to have a gas grenade, because the gas grenade can kill you. Uh, for this one, I believe I will go with head kill, spinning death, combat art. Instead of clean, I'll use the black hole, because I love that. Instead of the hook, I'll have a... Uh, yeah, how about gas grenade and the uh, gas mask, which is almost the exact same as my first loadout. Okay, actually, I'll change it up a bit more then. Oh yeah, the head, the death crab. Yeah, I'll use the death crab. And then instead of you... Let's just use ice. So I have my loadout. And then there's different difficulties that you can do. I'll go medium for this time. And then the game mode is either normal where you kill everyone without dying. There's ninja where you kill everyone without being detected, and survivor where it's just waves of enemies. I'll go normal for now so I can just show off the normal game mode. Over here you do have to pick what loadout you want each time, but that's not too much of a hassle. The game itself has a decent amount of maps, and there's also uh, the forge where you can make maps if you want. I'm not good at that, so I'm not going to be messing with that, but you can download Steam maps to, you know, Steam, which is pretty cool. I will be using the city, because that's my favorite area, because it's really good for, like, running around and doing parkour. So, let's begin. Okay, so, what I'd like to do is jump off and... I'm not the best at this game, but this area really helps you out with doing parkour. Yeah, don't expect me to be anything too good at this. I'm not exactly good at this game. Yeah, so, whenever you kill enemies, you're able to... Ah, I'm dead. So when you kill enemies, you're able to pick up their weapons. So basically, whenever you kill, you can just take stuff from them and use it more. So, basically, the difference between restart and again is, again, stop, starts you in the same location, restart, restarts you from the original place. But, let's go take out these snipers, because they are a bit of a hassle. There's probably some enemies coming through that door, so I'm gonna get a black hole ready. Black hole, uh... It basically eats up their bodies in any signs of that they have resisted. But as you can see there, you have to be careful, because it can eat you too. So I'm going to... release some death crabs. And what they do is basically chase after enemies and then explode their heads off. Oh, sniper's at me. Take care of that one, and that one. And with the sniper able to zoom in... And I'm just gonna wait for someone to open up that door. Pardon. Oh, that was actually probably my own death crap. Uh, it's taking them a bit... Oh, 
spinning death, basically. You shoot it, flies towards them, and then it embeds it itself in their skull. Ow. Yeah. And it's called Sword of Sauce, because, uh, you know, you have swords, and when you kill them, sauce gets everywhere. That's 100% sauce. Oh, that door's locked. No, I just forget that one is locked. Hello? Yeah, homing is pretty decent on this. Like, nothing to complain about. Down at the top, you see the uh, detection bar. Gosh, this means that, you know, they know you're somewhere but they haven't seen where. Alerted means they know exactly where you are. And then undetected is the green option, which means they have no clue you're even here at all. Hello. So, yeah, I have 22 enemies left. There's around 30 ish enemies for each of the levels. Except, you know, custom levels can have different amounts, but most of the general amount. But yeah, you're able to do a lot of stuff, like, you can grab ledges and pull yourself up onto them, you're able to roll around as you saw me doing earlier. In fact, I'm... Gonna... Wall right over here. Yeah, these doors... Maybe you can open and close, so you know that they've been through there. Hello. Oh. You're also able to throw weapons. And did I get him? Yep. Oh, that is. I think I just killed five with that. Sometimes I like to challenge myself and see how many I can kill with a black hole, but that is definitely a lot. Yeah. Currently, only have my face. Oh, hello. So, I want to get a weapon. Ah, yeah. And now that there are ten enemies left alive, it shows me where all the other enemies are. And in this level, it features an elevator. Oh, I did not get on in time. Kind of. Okay, I got stuck in the elevator. I'm just gonna restart here. So I can head on up and say hello to some of my little friends. With, I say freezer. Well, I've got the door opened up on the other side, but it worked. So these little throwing stars are just basically a tiny little throwable. Leave in one shot. If you manage to hit him right. Oh, well, he saw me. Not the best. But also not the worst. So I can take out those guys. Those two down there. That one over there. Oh. Well, someone detects me, but. Alright. You. You. I'm not sure if they can come up through the elevator themselves, I don't think they can. Okay, well. Oh, you... stop. I am not the best. Oh, well, my gun is used up. So you can chuck items. And you can even break windows by throwing stuff at them. Which is helpful if you want to make a run and jump in. Basically, I need to start except it has to hit anywhere on them to instantly knock them out. Oh, there is someone behind me! Wall run? Wall run? That is a lot of enemies! That is a lot of enemies! Okay. 
yeah, big area of effect like the black hole will be useful. I'm going to run for the elevator. off the edge, and then they're gonna crawl towards whatever's closest. Although their main weakness is that they can't open doors, but that's not really ever too much of a problem. And boom. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna use the head kill. This is a super fun gadget. You basically attach it to surfaces, and if an enemy gets near, well, you'll see what happens. Hello? Come closer. So yeah, it just reaches out and grabs their head. Okay, yeah, this guy below me. I don't have my swords, but I'm gonna just beat him up in a fisticuffs battle. Okay, new gadget. Let's use sticky lightning. Work with me here, Sticky Lightning. Okay. Yeah, it didn't work well the first few times. But you basically throw it on the surface and it electrocutes enemies. Like that. Like a shotgun. And yeah. So as you can see, we're wall running. And this is probably the best level for it, I'd say. It has a lot of surfaces. Alright, two shots of two enemies. Let's see if I can do it. One enemy left. Where are they? Okay, yeah, they're above me. So I'm gonna go on over, find them. And boom! And that's that. So that's a fun little game. I like playing it sometimes when I just need to release some steam and just kill a bunch of faceless, random, little, whatever those are, but character models, so, yeah, hope you liked watching, and hey, check out the game if you think you might want to play, it's not that much, I think it was a dollar on Steam when I got it, but yeah, there's a lot of fun in it, and I hope they keep on updating it more.